Hi, I'm Jim Boudet from Austin, Texas in the USA. This lesson is for week three of the Coursera course, Introduction to Music Production. In this video, I will be reviewing the signal flow through one of the channel strips of my main mixer, the Soundcraft Compact 10. The Soundcraft Compact 10 mixer is specifically designed for the home studio. Some of the features of this mixer are that the console is printed in clear and common terms. There are inputs for balanced and unbalanced microphones, line level instruments such as keyboards, high impedance inputs such as guitars, mono and stereo inputs, and RIAA equalization for connecting turntables. The mixer has three output buses. The main mix bus, the record out bus that connects to the input of your audio interface, and the monitor bus for monitoring input signals. There are also two specialty outputs, an, ar an artist output that provides zero latency monitoring for the recording artist, and the engineer output that allows the engineer to monitor either the artist or the monitor mix. As you can see, not all of the channels in this mixer are identical. In this lesson, we will be reviewing the signal flow through the first channel strip only. The first part of the signal flow is concerned with getting the audio signal into the mixer. Here we see the complete channel strip, as well as an electrical schematic of the channel to the point just before the equalization section. The schematic is useful because it clearly shows the order that features are present in the signal flow. In the signal flow order, in signal flow order we have the microphone and line input connector. This input accepts XLR, TRS, and TS connectors. There is a switch that provides phantom power to the XLR microphone socket. The signal passes through a preamp that is controlled by the gain knob. The preamp raises the signal to line level. There is a switch that can route the signal through a high pass filter that reduces subharmonic bass frequencies, such as microphone pops. At the end of this section is an insert point that can break the internal signal flow and instead route it outside of the mixer for external processing by limiters, compressors, special EQ, and other signal processing units. The process signal is returned to the mixer just after the insert point. The mixer includes a three band equalizer. The high knob boosts or cuts frequencies above 12 kHz. The mid knob boosts or cuts a band of frequencies centered at 600 Hz. And the low knob boosts or cuts frequencies below 60 Hz. Next there is a monitor switch. If on, the signal is connected to the monitor bus. This mixes the signal into the monitor output. The signal then goes through the fader, controlled by the level knob and then through the pan knob, which controls the stereo positioning of the mono signal. Finally, there is a rec switch that sends the signal to either the mix or rec buses to be mixed into the mix or record out outputs. This concludes the signal flow walkthrough of a channel strip on a Soundcraft Compact 10 mixer. I hope that I, will, I was able to explain the various features available in this channel strip, as well as some of the unique features of this mixer. Thanks for watching.